How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today we're on about versus Richard from the Discord server in the Smogon Overuse tier. Stick around till the end for a bonus battle and with that being said, let's jump straight into the game. Is that an Oshawott? And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun Richard. So hopefully that we see some good action from that Oshawott because that's just such a random pick. Anyway, they lead with Galv. I lead with Staraptor. Not a bad lead for us. We are Choice Scarf. We outspeed. I'm not going to Brave Bird because they could Thunder or Volt Switch. So I'm going to just U-turn to break the Sash. There we go. And uh, speaking of breaking the Sash, not, I mean, not really, but uh, if you enjoy this video and you want to see more daily Pokemon Wi-Fi battles like this one, be sure to drop a like and subscribe so you don't miss out. Anyway, let's go into our powerful... I want to go into Torkoal. So that's what I'm going to do. So Torkoal comes on in, which is great and all. I'm really curious to what that Oshawott's going to do. Like, I really hope it does something. That'd be amazing. They go for a sticky web, though. Sticky web support is going to be helpful for them on their team, especially against our chlorophyll use of Isle Plume. However, we do have the rapid spin on the Torkoal, which is exactly what I'm going to do. They go for a Thunder in the sun. Still hit it. Um, and we go for a rapid spin, which is going to do a shed loads of damage. <laughs> Not really. Um, but, you know, we get rid of the sticky webs, which is what we really wanted to do. So... Um, let's go for another Rapid Spin, just in case they Sticky Web again, but they don't. They go for a Thunder, which is, of course, going to miss, um, which means we get a free Rapid Spin off once again. There we go. And since they're going for Thunder, we may as well switch out, right? They might, no, they'll probably go for a Sticky Web again, so I'm going to go for a Rapid Spin. They go for another Thunder, they miss again, because the Sun, I think Sun lowers the accuracy of Thunder. Um, so it's funny that we get free Rapid Spins off. I, I wasn't going to let them sell the Sticky Webs. There was no way. We need the Vile Plume around. The Vile Plume goes hard against their team, like really hard. So we needed that around. So it, it made sense for them to try and take out the Torkoal, but Thunder is just not a very accurate move. Even with Compound Eyes in the sun, it's not very accurate. In comes Chunks. What's Chunks going to be? The Garganacle. Okay, that is a threat right there. Not trying to get um, not trying to get Salt Cure, that's for sure. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go Alo Mamola Lola. I'm going to go into my Alo Mamola Lola. And uh, we'll just flip turn because they probably stole Cure anyway. So we're going to Palindrome, like so. There you go for a Salt Cure, which is obviously going to do nothing to us initially. But because we are a Water type, we're going to take a nice bit of damage from the Salt Cure. So Salt Cure comes through, and that does a good, like, fifth of my health, which is really horrible damage. Luckily, we've got Regenerator, so we can go for a slow flip turn here. And I am zero IVs in speed, and I'm a negative speed nature. So I'm hoping that means we'll, like, we'll go last. But Garganacle is very slow. They do withdraw. They don't want to get scolded or anything like that. They can't be bothered with the Aloma Moda wish stuff. So they're going to go into Collins, which is going to be the Magna Zone. So we go for a flip turn. And we break a potential Sturdy, which I don't think they would have had. These things are normally Terra Ice. So I know I can bring Valplume and get a free Weather Ball off. So let's go into Valplume real quick, like so. Valplume comes through. Good old Mandrake. There we go. Valplume coming through. Let's go for that Weather Ball. Why not, eh? Why not? So we go for a Weather Ball. They do not have a good switch into Valplume. It's not really something you would build around. Like, you wouldn't ever, when you're building an OU team, you wouldn't ever go, oh, I ain't got anything for Valplume. <laughs> um, but at the same time, this guy's brought an Oshawott. So it's like, I don't know. I don't know. Rato, the Treasure Hunter, comes in. That's going to be the Talonflame. It is a full HP. So if it's Gale Wings, it's going to get a Brave Bird off. So we're going to have to switch out. I'm going to go into my Alo Mamola. And there we go. We withdraw the Vile Plume. Going to Alo Mamola, like so. And we can definitely take any hit this um, Talonflame wants to go for. They may go for a Willow. They go for the Acrobatics, though. That's going to do no damage. But we do get the Rocky Helmet, which now makes Gale Wings uneffective. So the Harsh Sunlight does fade. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip turn here. They may Roost. They may switch out. One of the two. There we go, withdrawing the Talonflame. They don't want to get hurt by a Scold or something. And they're going to go into Chunks once again. The Garganacle. We get a free Flip Turn off, which is going to do no damage. Oh, it does a lot of damage, actually, to be fair. A lot more than I thought it would. Um, and now we're going to go ahead and switch out into Torkoal. The reason I'm going to Torkoal is because I don't mind Torkoal going down. We only really need one more Self of Sun. So I'm going to bring Torkoal in like so. Get the Sun up. And then I'm also going to get the Stealth Rocks up to break a potential Sash on that Gengar. They go for a Salt Cure, which is going to do a decent bit of chip damage to us. And it means we go down to the Salt Cure the next turn because we are cured. Um, but we get the Stealth Rocks up, which is, going to, like I said, going to break a potential Sash on the Gengar. Um, I think the Talonflame will get hurt as well because it won't have Acrobatics anymore. But now we get a free switch into our Vileplume, which is the most important part of this. 
We get a free switch in. We've got another seven turns of sun. I think Vileplume could pop off this game. I think this is a Vileplume game right here. So let's go into Vileplume. Like so. And uh, we'll go for a Solar Beam. Because why not, eh? Why not? Solar Beam comes through. Let's see if it's able to get the KO on this Garganacle. I have a feeling it'll live. But I could be wrong. Nope. Solar Beam comes through. Cleanly takes out the Garg. And that means now we can freely take on the rest of their team. That Ostrowatt's still alive, and it does my head in. <laughs> in comes Megatsu, which is going to be what? The Gengar. Okay, Gengar comes in. We do break a potential Sash, which is nice. They are Air Balloon, which is also nice. Um, I think we sell out speed, so I'm going to go for a Weather Ball here. Weather Ball comes through. The question is, does it KO Gengar? Should I have Terra fired? Nope. KOs the Gengar completely. Air Balloon bursts into a million pieces. Down goes the Gengar. This is a Vileplume video and a half right here, which is absolutely amazing. So Vileplume come through. In comes the Talonflame. Gets hurt by Stealth Rocks, which is great. I knew they wouldn't have energy boots if they've got acrobatics. We go for a Sludge Bomb. We should be able to take out this Talonflame, unless for some reason they still outspeed us in Chlorophyll. We Sludge Bomb. They haven't terrored, so I'm guessing they're going to save the Terror for the Oshawa or something. Um, so Talonflame goes down. I haven't actually seen Oshawa in this game, I don't think. I, don't, I have seen it once, but I haven't seen it in Battle. I mean as you would imagine. So Super Roller comes in. The Paldea Champion, the Oshawott. Nice. Nice. Let's go for a Solar Beam and take this thing out. If they Terra, then so be it. They haven't Terrored though. I'm wondering why. Did they already Terra? I feel like they already Terrored. But I don't think they did, did they? Either way, Valbloom pops off. I mean, the, the Oshawott will ignore the Oshawott, but Valbloom popped off, all right? So leave me alone. It took out Gargan from full HP near enough. Uh, that's, that's awesome. GG Richard, that was a fun one. And we have ourselves a bonus battle. Funnily enough, we just battled an Oshawott, and now we're going against someone with a username Oshawatts from the Discord server in the overuse tier. Let me know who you think is going to win based on the team you see on screen right now. And with that being said, let's jump straight into the game. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Oshawatts. So they're going to lead off with Gliscore as I led off with my Valplume. I led off with Valplume purely because I was like, Grimmsnarl is probably going to lead um, or Jolteon. Something along those lines. So I am obviously going to switch out here. But I'm leaning towards... They're probably going to go for a Stealth Rock, right? So I should go into Pre-Marina. Um, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Pre-Marina can come through. Again, I know it's pretty weird to have a Loma Mola and Pre-Marina on a Sun team. But it's not really a Sun team. The Sun's just there for Vileplume, really. Um, the other team members are just kind of doing their own thing. They're not really working as a team. So they go for a Stealth Rock as expected. So they go for Protect. They obviously must be wanting to scout to see whether or not we're a choice, uh, choice Specs. Pre-Marina or not. So we go for a flip turn. They might be thinking now, okay, they're locked into flip turn. They, you know, they might be gambling on it. So let's go for a surf just in case they stay in to take the flip turn because they can definitely take a flip turn, no problem. They go for a knockoff, knocking off our choice specs, not really, our assault vest. We get a free surf off on the glide score. I knew they would do that. I knew it. The glide score goes down to a surf. That's one big threat to my vile plume gone. All we need to do is get get weak in that Pheasantipity, get the um, Grimmsnarl's screens out of the way, and there we go. Clefable comes through. Fair enough, Clefable's a good switch. Um, we go for a flip turn here all the time. I think they outspeed us. They do, they go for a Cosmic Power, which is definitely a bad thing for us. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip turn into Valplume here, and I'm going to Sludge Bomb. So we go for the flip turn. No damage to the Clefable, obviously. Obviously. No damage, but it's not the end of the world. And um, what we can do is go into Valplume, like so. And we can just fire off a Life Orb Booster Sludge Bomb, which should still do a lot of damage to the Clefable, um, regardless of the Cosmic Power. So we do outspeed because we are max speed. We definitely outspeed. Um, it's just whether they're going to Terror or not. If they Terror, then I Terror. If they Terror, then I Terror. So let's go for a Sludge Bomb. So they are going to Terror. Are they going to Terror Steel? That's the real question. If they Terror Steel, then we definitely want to go into Torkoal um, and go from there. So they Terra Steel. Right, okay, that's fine. Terra Steel is fine. They're Cosmic Power. They're probably Cosmic Power Stored Power, which is terrifying, by the way. Uh, we give the Sludge Bomb. Obviously, it fails. We can't Weather Ball this thing because Sun's not up. And they go for another Cosmic Power. So this Clefable set is absolutely terrifying right now. But we do have the Torque All in the back, so that's not the end of the world. And if we really want to, we've got another option for this, and that's Garchomp with Swords Dance. Um, we've got Close Combat on Staraptor. 
Stuff like that. So let's go Torkoal, get the sun up real quick. That way Valplume can actually hurt this thing as well. I'm guessing they're physically defensive of some kind. Where, by the way, they took that... No, 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 that's not really a good um, thing now. No, I don't know what set they are, to be honest with you. So we'll go Torkoal, get the sun up. Like so. They go for another Cosmic Power. Yep, there it is. The Cosmic Power comes through. They're going to get plus six defenses. They're at plus three at the moment. Are they going to be soft-boiled? That's the real question. So... Do I go for a Body Press or do I go for a Fire Blast? I think Fire Blast in the Sun's probably the best option for us. They go for another Cosmic Power. They are now at plus four defenses, which is terrible for us. But I believe we can pull through here. So let's go for a Fire Blast. We miss. Great. Thanks. Thanks, game. Really didn't need that miss. But let's go for a Fire Blast once again. They go for a Cosmic Power. Now this Fire Blast is going to do even less, unless we get a critical hit, of course. Unless we get a critical hit, which we don't, probably. Fire Blast comes through, though. Still does a decent chunk of damage to them, which is nice. But now what do we do? Because they're probably stored power. I don't have a single immunity to store power. I don't even have an assault vest anymore. And what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? They go for a calm mind now. So they are a calm mind set. They are definitely stored power. They probably calm mind, moon blast, uh, cosmic power, and stored power. So we go for another um, fire blast here. We do hit, which is nice. Bit of damage. Nice bit of damage. That's what we like to see. The problem we've got is I don't want Torkoal to die because we do need that sun. So I, I'm assuming they're going to attack this turn. Probably with a stored power. I don't think we need a Loma Mola, so I'm going to go into a Loma Lola. Um, I'm going to save Torkoal so that we can get the sun up later for Vileplume. Because I think Vileplume can really do some work against this team. So let's go for a Loma Lola, Loma Lola. Like so. They go for a Moon Blast, which is definitely going to sting a little bit, but not too much. Because it's um, not boosted by the Cosmic Powers, unlike Stored Power. So let's see what we can do here. So I'm leaning towards going for a Wish, or I'll just go for a Flip Turn. I think I go for a Flip Turn here. So I am going to go for a Flip Turn. I think they outspeed us as well. They go for a Moon Blast. That's going to definitely take us out. There we go. Aloma Mola goes down. So not the end of the world, but not the best situation for us to be in either. Um, as they have got boosted defense, but they've got more special defense than physical defense. So I think the best thing for us to do here is going to Garchomp and Terra Steel. I think that is the way to go. So let's go Garchomp and Terra Steel so that we can take the Moon Blast for the Stored Power pretty easily. Um, that is for sure what we need to do. And then we use Swords Dance. They're probably going to be... If I had to guess, they would have to be unaware. Or the Magic Guard so they, don't, they can't get whittled down by Toxic and stuff. So I do kind of want to go for a Terra Steel Swords Dance. I think Terra Steel Swords Dance is the way to go. So that's what I'm going to do. Hopefully they don't have Flamethrower and they have like Store Power. Because Store Power won't take out Garchomp from here. So there we go. Terra Steel comes through. Like so. We go for a Swords Dance which is great and all. Again I don't think they run away. If they're the Cosmic Power set they don't want to get whittled down by Toxic and stuff. They do have Fire Blast, which is going to take us out at plus one. So they don't have Stored Power, which is really useful to know. I should have gone for an EQ there. I really thought they would be Stored Power. Next thing you're going to tell me is Clefable doesn't get Stored Power or something. Maybe I'm being dumb. I should have EQ'd there. That's for sure. That was a misplay and a half. But you know what? It's fine. Uh, what's next on the list of Pokemon we don't really need? I'd say Staraptor should be next. We should go for a close combat. So we'll bring Rocket in. Nice and powerful. Get some Stealth Rock Chip. And then we go for a Close Combat. There we go. We go for a Close Combat and then we weaken it. So Close Combat comes through. Oh. Oh. Yes. No more Clefable BS. Close Combat comes through with the Critical Hits. Yes. Yes. That is awesome. That is awesome. I. You know what's funny? I... <laughs> I don't even think we needed that close combat crit. I only wanted to close combat to weaken it a bit because it has no recovery. Then I could go Torkoal because the sun ended. Get the sun up. Bring Valplume in. Terrify a terror, uh, terrify a weather ball. And take it out from there. But <laughs> a crit is just speeding things up a bit, I think. So Pheasantipity comes in. Very good switch. Pheasantipity takes a close combat like a champ. Um, what we can do here is um, we can go Torkoal. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. And then we can rapid spin. That's going to be really useful. Staraptor could still be really useful here. So I'm actually kind of glad it gets to live to see another day. So we'll go into Smoky, like so. Stealth Rocks do dig in. 
And we do get the drought up, which is nice. They go for a U-turn, though. And what are they going to U-turn into, though? That's the real question. I'm happy for Torkoal to go down here. I think they go Grimmsnarl, though. I really think they go Grimmsnarl. It seems like the most important Pokemon for them to get in. Yeah, Grimmsnarl comes in, which is fair enough. So what we can do here while we have the chance is we can Rapid Spin and then we can... Yeah, we Rapid Spin and then we, talk, and then we Stealth Rock, pretty much. Because they're going to set up the screens, um, which is all well and good. They actually go for a Bulk Up. They're a Bulk Up Grimmsnarl? Is their team just full of cell Pokemon? That's awesome. Pranks the Bulk Ups are cool. We go for a, a Rapid Spin, though. That's going to definitely... Um, do something as we get rid of the stealth rocks like so get rid of the stealth rocks like so and then what we do is we set up our own stealth rocks like so they go for a drain punch which isn't going to KO us which is great does recover their health but they don't have they, they've, they've not lost any health really anyway we go for the stealth rocks of our own that's going to hurt the pheasant dipty and the jolteon on the switch in um, which is great. Breaks potential Sash on the Jolteon. Not that it's really Sashed usually. But then again, I said the same thing about Dragapult, didn't I? So, if we assume they're going to get... get we should go into Vileplume here. Because they're going to go for another Drain Punch or a Bulk Up. One of the two. I think they Bulk Up. I think they Bulk Up. So we go for the Mandrake. They probably are Special Defensive. There's the Bulk Up. There's the Bulk Up. There's the Bulk Up. So, I'm pretty confident Vileplume can take a hit from this Grim Style. No problem at plus two attack. I'm pretty confident. So let's go for a Sludge Bomb. They go for a Sucker Punch. Oh, that does KO Vileplume. That's a shame. So Vileplume doesn't get to live another day. And the Grimmsnarl's just sat there thinking about what he wants to do in life. So I guess we have to go into Primarina and Moonblast this thing. That's annoying. So we still might have lost this game. I really didn't think Vileplume would go down, but I guess I'm underestimating Grimmsnarl. Let's go for a Moonblast. They withdraw the Grimmsnarl. What are they going to go into? The Jirachi to take a Moonblast? Pheasantipity. That's also a good switch. So Pheasantipity comes in. Gets the Stealth Rock Chip, which is nice. We go for a Moonblast, and that's going to definitely do no damage. But it does lower their special attack, which is always nice. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip turn, because they probably have a U-turn here, or they go for something else. They go for a Moonblast, which is going to bounce right off us. There we go. They get a crit, and they still did nothing. They do get the Toxic Chain, which is unfortunate, but that is, like, a pretty high chance. So we go for a flip turn here. That's going to do no damage to the Pheasantivity, but it all adds up at the end of the day. It's all going to add up. Um, I think Staraptor is our key to winning here. Staraptor is our key to winning here. So we go into Staraptor like so. We've got no Stealth Rocks to worry about anymore. Um, so we can go for a Double Edge quite safely. I am going to go Double Edge just in case they go Jolteon. Double Edge comes through. Pheasantipity goes down. There we go. There was no chance of it taking a double edge from a Staraptor. That is for sure. But we can still use Star. I think Staraptor is going to be key to winning this because that uh, we just need to get rid of that Jirachi. The harsh sunlight does fade as well, which is great. Yeah, Jirachi comes in being resistant to the double edge, which is fine. Nice and shiny as well. Gotta love it. Get some Stealth Rock Chip. We switch out into Torkoal 100% of the time here. There we go. Withdrawing our Staraptor. We're going to go into our Torkoal. Torkoal is the only Pokemon that can take a hit from this Jirachi, that's for sure. Um, so let's go for the Drought to get that up on the field. They go for a Meteor Mash, which is going to sting a little bit, not too much. I am assuming they're going to be choiced here. By the way, they haven't got leftovers. So I'm going to go for that clean Fire Blast right now and hope for the best. If they miss the Meteor Mash, that's going to be unfortunate, but I don't think it KOs us anyway. They withdraw the Jirachi because they aren't confident either, which makes sense. And they're going to go into Jolteon. How's Jolteon going to take this Fire Blaster? That's the real question. I want to see how it takes it. Stealth Rocks dig in, which is great. We go for the Fire Blast and we miss. Okay, that's fine. We can handle this. Turns out they're Flame Orb with Quick Feet, I'm guessing. Which means they are now a very big threat. We go for the Fire Blast once again. They go for a Hyper Voice, which is definitely going to sting as it takes out Torkoal. So that is unfortunate. But at the same time, it's not the end of the world, you know? It's definitely not the end of the world. Um, what we need to do now is we need to go into Pre-Marina, pretty much. We go Pre-Marina, we Moonblast, because we need to take out this Jolteon. So we'll go Pre-Marina like so. We'll go for a Moonblast. If they switch into Jirachi, we'll switch up moves and go for a... Um, they go for Calm Mind. That's terrifying. So Calm Mind Jolteon is terrifying. With Quick Feet as well, that's amazing. Let's go for a Moonblast. It should still sting a little bit. There we go. Um, it doesn't lower the special attack, which is unfortunate. Could have used that there, but it's, it is what it is. That's hacks at the end of the day. 
their burn's going to take into effect. And now I think another Moonblast will KO, but I don't think they go for a Calm Mind. I think they definitely take us out of a Thunderbolt here. Volt Switch. That's going to take us out. But why Volt Switch with Calm Mind? I mean, fair enough. It's whatever, but... Interesting set. Interesting set. So, with the Jolteon out of there, we can now freely go into our Staraptor. Our Staraptor is our last Pokemon. I think they go into uh, Jirachi here, to be honest with you. Grim Snarl comes in. Nice and powerful. I think we do lose here, though, to the Sucker Punch. Um, well, not the Sucker Punch. I think we live a Sucker Punch, but the recoil from Double Edge or Brave Bird will take us out. I think that's the way this is going to go down. So let's go into Staraptor real quick. That Clefable really butchered me. Really butchered me. I know we got the crit and everything, but it still butchered me. So we go for a Double Edge here because it's still most damaging move. They go for a Sucker. That's going to take us out. Staraptor goes down, and that's going to be the game. So G, G Oshawa, that was a really fun one. I liked seeing your creative sets, like the Bulk Up Grim Snarl. Um, that Clefable set was horrible in a good way. The Jolteon set's really cool to see as well. Calm Mind Quick Feet. Love it. And yeah, GG. But anyway, here is the team. Try it out if you want to use the code at the top right corner of the screen. If you do use it, let me know how it went in the comment section down below. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.